minutes and 33 minutes of two rates. You are still here on the AM show. Let's talk about a subject that's making huge headlines since uh, late yesterday. The National Road Safety Commission was expected to begin a nationwide towing program last month to ensure that all vehicles that break down on highways were cleared off the roads. That was after the Roads and Transport Committee of Parliament uh, met with the Commission, the DVLA, and other stakeholders over the matter. But we know on Tuesday, uh, after the announcement of this, in fact, the initial one that was supposed to have started last month, uh, there was a lot of public outcry, and uh, afterwards, there was a hold on this. On Tuesday, which was just yesterday, Parliament's Roads and Transport Committee okayed the implementation of the mandatory road tolls. They've made some proposals. We've got uh, the chairman of that committee, the Road Transport Committee of Parliament, uh, joining us in studio right now. He's also a member of parliament for Ayin Suano. Uh, Samuel Ayepaye is my guest. If you've got questions on this, please send it to me via WhatsApp or regular SMS. Good morning to you. Good morning. The name is Ayep. Ayep. Yes. Hey, <laughs> I'm pronouncing it the way that I. Yeah, 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 yeah right. <laughs> okay, but I before the deliberations, mm. was abrogation on the table? No, no, there wasn't. Uh, what happened? Let me first say good uh, morning to your viewers, especially my constituents in the Eastern region. Mm. Uh, what happened was that a uh, uh, lie was passed in Parliament uh, far back in 2012, and then. Uh, due to that LI, a contract was signed. Section 102 of LI 2180 uh, is giving this mandatory uh, towing of vehicles. Mm. So uh, last year, a contract was signed between a service provider, a private service provider, and government of Ghana through the Ministry of Transport in 2016. And then the commencement day of that uh, project shoot it starts in the two 2017, July 1st. Yes. So the ministry, in attempt to uh, give the nod for the uh, commencement of that project, had a backlash from the general public and concerns were raised uh, as uh, 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 how uh, the project is going to be implemented, that there wasn't much education, uh, that uh, people's uh, uh, the general big, uh, public, I'm talking about the motorists, yeah. don't understand the, the program somewhere of the view that the fees were so high so uh, actually uh, as a practice in parliament in when a bill on act is passed and uh, its implementation has such an agitation or mm -hmm. difficulty the committee responsible for that ministry uh, actually intervened because it's a bipartisan body that can intervene to help the ministry to implement such a project mm -hmm. uh, so what we did was that uh, the committee Intervene. We first invited the minister and the agencies responsible, that is National Road Safety Commission. And at the meeting... Uh, was we, the DVLA part of this? Uh, well, DVLA actually, they are not a part of it. They are stakeholders, all right. So in our meetings, involve them. But uh, they are it's just to collect the money for the National Road Safety Commission uh, through uh, Ministry of Finance to... So uh, the Transport uh, Ministry, the Road, the, Safety, the Road Commission. Safety Commission... And then uh, other stakeholders in the transport uh, company. I so guess that would include the road safety management uh, uh, company. Company, company yeah, that's we had yes, we, we 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 had a meeting with them. Okay. Apart from that, we went ahead to have a discussion with the uh, GPRTU, that's the uh, Ghana Private Road Transport Union. Mm -hmm. We had discussions also with the, uh, the the National Road Transport Coordinating Council. Okay, it's an, an umbrella body that uh, uh, groups all the road transport unions, apart from GPR to you. Mm. So uh, the pro tour uh, was also there. And then we also met uh, uh, the small scale towing uh, companies and individuals, uh, their representatives. For instance, the night towing services was there. Uh, the cozy towing services was also there. We met other road transport advocates, uh, like the, uh, the Consumer Protection Agency. We also uh, met uh, other stakeholders in the transport industry. And then... Uh, so all these were groups that before had not been contacted? Uh, yes. Or consulted? Yes, some of them. Uh, the interaction we had with them indicates clearly that some of them has already been uh, consulted. For instance, uh, GPRTU and then the, the, the G... 
the Ghana Road Transport Coordinating Council. Mm -hmm. But the level of consultation with what we deduced, meeting them, we found out that the level of consultation was a bit low uh, and there was not much education. You see, if you have the discussions with only the top levels and without uh, having a program to reach the members of the association, you may not know the level of uh, discuss, discussions that may go on between the executives and then the members down there. Mm. So uh, that is what we deduce, okay. that yeah, the executives were aware, but there wasn't much interaction between the executives or, for that matter, National Real Safety Commission and the motoring public. So there was a broader consultation. Exactly. But it looks like you had it very easy because nobody seemed to have objected to, because there were, yeah, calls, they are, they are, there they were calls for us to not even implement it at all? No, no. Yes, yes. When, when we met them, there's one thing that I noticed at the chairman of the committee, that some of the organizations, I can say apart from the ministry and the National Road Safety Commission, most of the, uh, the, uh, the transports, uh, the players in the transport, transport industry pro providers, yes, were not providers. privy to the contract, the details of the contract. Okay. They weren't. So they were looking at, I'm paying money to get my car to when broken down. But m there's more into it than that. Uh, there are doubts. There are so you shared, the committee shared contents yeah, so we of requested, the agreements we, we, we requested with, with for them. the contract. They brought it. And then we asked the agreed uh, uh, bodies to also submit their petitions. Uh, some they have a petition there. They said, we want a written petition. Bring us something. Let us get a hold of did what they? they did. Richard Trap, for instance, brought a petition. And then uh, when we met them, we also look into the application vis-a-vis -vis the contract. And then we weigh the capacity of other competitors. And then we, we, we agree that it's important we, we, we propose that the project should kick start. So the final So would you say that all the people that you, you met mm. uh, finally accepted that they this accepted is the way the, we should the, go? The project. They were coming. For instance, GPRs, they say it's a very nice project, except that the content of the fee they were thinking is uh, too high, so we should do something about it. The Ghana Road Transport Coordinating Council, they said they've been part of this project for a while, and they think looking at the problems they are facing on the road, their members are facing on the road, it's important we allow this to, to, to start. The Russian track came in and said that they have a patent right to the, the project, so they don't see why they were not selected. And then we invited uh, the National Road Safety Commission, and then they came out and said that, yes, we started negotiation with them. They brought in a patent right certificate, of which I told them point blank that this is not a manufactured item. This is a project. So if you draft a project, a little sentence, one single sentence in another draft may not be the same as yours. This was the group that said this whole idea had been stolen from them. They were the originators yeah, of this so, whole toy yeah. service. So I, then the, 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 what ministry, the National Research Institute told us that, yeah, they started something with them. But along the line, they got to know that they were not having the capacity to carry out what they wanted to do and what the LI actually want them to do. Mm. So they stopped. And the way they, they stopped any other negotiations with them. So they have no agreement, not even a verbal contract with them. So they made sure that they, they did away. They, they were able to finish with the Richard track before engaging the new service provider. So now there's proper understanding from all stakeholders. Uh, yeah, from all stakeholders have agreed. Okay. But definitely, once it is a levy, once it is a fee, once it is a tax, well, if you are going to introduce a new fee, a new tax, a new uh, levy, definitely, you will not mm -hmm. end up having everybody to say, do you know what happened to VAT when it was first introduced? Mm. So, so, so definitely uh, issues will be raised. But that is why in our report, uh, we stated clearly that the Minister of Transport, in, in collaboration with the National Road Safety Commission, should draw a detailed education program and run it and report back to the committee okay. before the implementation. Can, of I, the can I ask about something? Mm. This was... Uh, a law that had been passed by the previous parliament. Exactly. Uh, do you have the power to go back into, into this no, and make recommendations like you've done? Yes, yes. We, it, it is, you see, there's a difference between issue going to the floor of parliament, the minister, uh, speaker of parliament make referral. Mm -hmm. Then when the referral is made, and then we send our report to the floor of parliament and the vote is, is, is put on the report and passed, mm -hmm. it binds the minister. 
That one, whether the minister likes it or not, he has to go by it. Mm -hmm. This is different from this. So th this initially didn't go to the floor? No, it, it, okay. no, no, no. I don't say initially because it is an airline that has been passed by the parliament. Mm -hmm. This report is not coming from the speaker. I see. Hang on. This new deliberations that mm. you've done is mm. not coming from the speaker? No, okay. it is intervention. You see, when a law is passed by parliament, mm -hmm. And then in its implementation, the ministry faces challenges, especially when the challenge is between the stakeholders or the general public and the ministry. Because we are the representative of the people, we step in. Okay. And it is, you know, parliament is a bipartisan body. So we step in as a neutral body, which will not be by the minister or the general public, and then find amicable solutions. So this was your own initiative as a committee? As a committee in, in to invite the parties okay. and listen to them. Okay. And then so after we listen to them, our report this is the consumption of the minister, not to parliament to pass vote on it. Okay. Because so it, it, that, that portion, or uh, the law has already been passed. Mm. Contract has been signed. So the document is no more a baby of parliament. Sure. So what we did as a committee is an intervention okay. to fund so amicable solutions. So are your proposals for, binding then? No, our proposals, that is why it is a recommendation. Okay. That is why right. it is a proposal. Let's, get, let's get into the recommendations the, 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 yes, uh, yes. because we know the person who is undertaking this contract gets 85% mm. uh, mm. of mm. it. But you're saying 2.5 should go to NHIS yeah. and another 2.5 to the ambulance service. Mm. Is it something well, that... In, when, when we met the stakeholders, one issue they raised, uh, especially the, uh, the, uh, the advocates, the, the risk issue of 85% uh, being too much, that goes to the, uh, the, the operator. The operator the, the. So we invited National Road Safety Commission. What went into that? And then they brought out the analysis they made and the, the, the scope of work that they are expecting the, the private operator to perform or mm. to execute. And then we went to that, so yes, it justified the percentage. But uh, there's the need for other uh, stakeholders in this road safety issue, that also needs support. For instance, National Ambulance Service, when there's accidents, the, the victims quickly ought to be rushed to hospital. National Ambulance Service is uh, having some few challenges in terms of crash. So we decided that, then let us sit down with the operator and see whether he can part part of his uh, uh, percentage to support National Ambulance Service. So we agreed on 2.5% to National Ambulance Service. And then we look at Somebody, a victim, an accident victim sent to hospital. The family may not be very available. He may not even have his national health insurance card on him. Yet, he might be taken care of. So let's take 2.5% as a premium to a national uh, uh, health, health insurance, insurance scheme, scheme mm. authority. So that they will use it as a, as, a, as, a, as a premium. And the operator agreed to all these things. operator agreed. Okay. So what we are seeing is that there should be a random understanding mm. between the operator and the ministry okay. to attach the contract. That's so the that next phase. Three, yes, the next phase. So if, the ministry if the ministry accepts, accepts your proposals, your proposals okay. then it will bind okay. uh, both parties okay. for them to carry it on. I'm sure you know by mm. now that this has made huge headlines, a lot of exactly. major I've, talking I've, points. I've, I've, I've so been receiving calls since yesterday. I okay. haven't slept. What we want to the, do right uh, now is to link up with the, my colleague Kwesi Debra, who mm. is live from the VIP station mm. back in Kumasi to hear the views of people there. Mm. So over to you, Kwesi Debra. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Yeah, yeah good morning. Can you see me? I can see you. I can see you clearly. Tell me what you can report oh, okay. from the VIP station yes, you, in Kumasi. Yes, you, you, you're welcome to the capital city of the Ashanti region. This is Kumasi, and where I'm standing specifically is the Asafu New Plan VIP station. As you can remember, a month ago, the National Road Safety Commission announced that from the 1st of July, the Road 2 levy is going to take, uh, come to full effect. And... The Hoy Poloy dismembered it. We had people like the CPA of the of the of Gipo, that's Dr. Charles Rokubrobe, talking about the fact that he, had, he called on the government that is 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 going to reaffect the people. So he should veto it. The vice president of Imani Ghana, Kofi Bento, also said that it's meant to swindle Ghanaians. But that wasn't meant to be. Yesterday, Parliament's Road and Transport Committee gave an approval. And we're expecting that from the 1st of September it's going to come into full effect. We asked, we were here earlier and we spoke with some of the drivers and they talked about the fact that it's, the lines in Ghana are not good and it should it come into full force, it's not going to be very effective. So we're going to speak to some of the motorists 
and the car owners what they think about this whole thing. Dada, you're welcome to AM Show. I quite about about AM Show. Uh, Parliament, I'm approval. I say a road tour, young farmer. Now, first of all, but you didn't say now where they are. Okay, me and me, I think chairman. Oh, no plan via station. Now, if I talk Parliament, I dear, or more enche, or more one or more the Bequay now, or my party, then I would join for home. Would you listen about why and day? I'm saying, can I call MY? But you are in jail. The record say MY and say. The new man say, the bit more poor pass, say a bind, but you talk, Tony Cass, I can see it. I treat traders now the other day. Now say, what the general baby, baby, bit is a free call, a juice, a conongo, any cocoa, any, and you know, as a bus, you know, Tony Cass, a dorsal. Nana, I bet my boy, and I say, yeah, via piano, your charm, my friends, a JVRC, and it's Japan. Oh, more, I cry, I be a man, I yen, I retreat a bus. This is a buy as well, but this cafe, you who, and for sure, you be near our home. Okay, so my reward he is essentially saying is that when when it comes into force, there, there's supposed to be the towing car should lie, for instance, there. A just a stretch so that in case of any emergency or in case any car breaks down they'll be able to tow it and he's saying that their company does vip they have a towing service so when should this come it's not going to help them that much now that are some of them will be now okay one more kind of way okay one more kind of and because they be to a boy or man say uh say i buy the back cry in abba now can be a will be selling now buy Bas, eh, mi fan se sa tun ka na ya abade abano na twi ka kro na baji huska en na bitwa boy na se de konde in fact eh basa de mwa e mwa kra okay let's speak to someone also here but you didn't say na also friend of us okay but you where then oh my ejuma vip ya my driver ni my ejuma vip ya se si a parliament am approval e bia Enche, first September, one hundred and twenty. Then I join from. Which is a bad body. Ni ni ti ti ane ni ni ten ten ni na semuni ni na ni se emra demra. Se abaya no epese oya se juma oya. Ni ni na ni se omu be pebe bia omu be gi omu be ya parking lot kasi e di e bi e wajuso e konongo enkoko enyenem suhum omu ya sa parking lot no do do ano e woho na wa u ka bese no. You be tour, no tour to in living. Who be tour scar, no be far car. So what the car is see one one be tour scar, the car is see one be one year. Now buy a book, car washing. So I don't know be boy. Now we be a ukra taxi. Me cause the taxi go on van go on go on so that. We see we design scar no one be tour no so say we be tour no one. Give away. I know my mother is M one, but the be boy pan is say. In fact, as in they see Ghana no, almost seventy five percent. I have driver for mistake. Almost twenty five percent. Aye, cash is 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 quanso. Many people do boom, ewo. But you want to remember, five percent. Aye, cash is any, any amount. Then because we are going to use cash, but we are not money. You see, we use cash money. And the other one is now we are going to be busy. Now we are going to now we are going to be busy. And the amount of cash we are going to be back quanso. As we are going to be busy, we are going to be busy. 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 And this was all by a human being. You know, as a moment, but the very first moment, but I don't have force. No one that they break graphic lenses. No one that didn't have them. And I'm not there. Hello, Chrissy Debra. Chrissy Debra, we've got to leave Kumasi now. We've got to go to circle because we've got Max Agbaba, who's also on the transport here. What we want to, what we want to have right now is just an idea of what operators think. That proposal that has been given by the So, Kwesi, we're going to leave you and just quickly uh, go to circle. Maxwell Agwagwa is on standby. Maxwell, good morning. Uh, what are people... Yeah. ...proposal that's been given by the yeah. Transport Committee of Parliament? Well, good morning, uh, Mama V. Um, earlier, I had um, some drivers um, around me having interaction with me, but a lot of them have left uh, to take 
um, passengers to their various destinations. So they are not here with me right now. But we've been sampling uh, the opinions of these drivers here. It's a bit of you know indifference um, uh, for this um, for the approval of the national uh, you know towing levy. Some of them are for it. Well, there's one driver that I had interactions with. He applies a uh, circle uh, to Kanishi. He tells me that the bit about the national ambulance, uh, you know, the bit about the 2.5 of the total 85 percent that would go to the operator now going to the national ambulance service. He thinks that uh, it's a good thing. He, he thinks that he's a, it is a good thing because he says that, I mean, there are times that people uh, go to the hospital after accidents and they are in their need of, you know, uh, um, support from the National Ambulance Service, but they do not get some of these, you know, support because of the lack of, you know, logistics. So he's saying that he thinks that, you know, it's a good thing. Let me find out from um, this driver who is here with me uh, to take his views and his opinions, uh, actually, to find out from him what he thinks about uh, this uh, policy of the National, you know, road uh, towing uh, levy. Uh, sir, towing levy now, you see Parliament approving of maybe, sir, sir, who is saying? Now, when you say, the someone is adding a bar, I hear a mephono. Who can say, I am both to Carno. The Sabana, sir, I'm by the only man I say, I'm on yai. I know an amateur. Who be our kind as I say, as a consul. Who be our mobile to Carno, nay, mephono side, I was almost about to pack a knock. Entonces, <laughs> And the he has a concern about the possible duplication of functions because he's saying that usually when some of the cars break down, you know, on the streets, you get um, some personnel from the Accra Metropolitan Assembly going around and towing these vehicles. So he's saying that with the approval, with this approval that has been given, and later we are likely to see an implementation of this policy, does that mean that these AMA officials would stop towing the vehicles, you know, where, when they break down? Yeah. Is that, you know, right. one of the many concerns that we've been sampling here at the Circle Terminal? Mama. All right. Maxwell, thank you very much. We're going to come back uh, into the studio real quick. This conversation started late, otherwise we would have had a lot of time. But somebody is asking... Uh, why a percentage is not going to the fire service? Well, uh, it's true. Fire service uh, also gets invited when accidents uh, do occur. We look at uh, institutions that have stress of money, but have the funding gap to support their... Are you their saying the National Fire Service uh, don't well, have a funding uh, they, gap? Yeah, they have. They have. But looking at their budget and the support that they get from central government, we have the view that, yes, they should be able to uh, uh, help. So we, 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 we cannot keep on dividing mm. and sharing and sharing to all this. If we don't okay. take down all the institutions with them, because it's going to the Ghana Police every time TTD, the Minister of Finance is getting, uh, the Transport Ministry is getting, but fire service is not getting. Just Commission real quick, because we have, we, we have to go. Uh, uh, the, okay, I, I guess uh, we, we have to wrap up now. I had lots of things that I wanted to ask you on Fun this. Time, uh, we'll just, come again. Yeah, no, just finally, in 30 mm. seconds, was there judgment debts when you're thinking about this? No, Were no, you thinking no, about no. judgment well, debts? It, that's it, the it, didn't, it didn't, didn't come in any of our deliberations. Okay, all Because right. that is to the executive to decide. Okay, the president right. will have to look at the contract and look at the compensation that needs to be paid. But is there room for abrogation? Can we abrogate? Uh, let's look at the contract. Uh, if you want to abrogate and you, if there's any, the lawyers will be helped if there will be any penalty. Be That's member of parliament. <laughs> so He's also uh, uh, the man in charge in terms of chair uh, of the transport committee of parliament. We're grateful for a time.